Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? <laughs> He's not talking. Why didn't you even try to run away? I was surprised that we didn't have a choice about like you know, helping helping this one. Say something, god damn it. <laughs> oh, he's completely like fuck it. I'm out of here. Shut off. Closed off. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Connor knows Indians what's up. also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Ah. Tendency to self-destruct. I could try questioning it. <laughs> Why is he laughing? That detective is kind of like... What do we have to lose? Dense. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. <laughs> so we are going to question him. Oh, thank you for translation, 44. Yeah, yeah. I, I read it. I saw it. Thank you. So we need to extract a confession, gather clues and find appropriate approach. Huh. Oh, there are clues. Nice. So let's get her some clues. This is one. Mm, not a clue. Just checking how smart we look. What the fuck is it doing now? A file. That's it. Or look. So let's check out the file. Mm, photos of the body. And everything. Okay, we unlocked. Unlocked the conversation piece, and now we can observe. So let's observe. Okay, he's like doing completely nothing. I think, okay. Before we sit down, let's make sure. Okay. It looks like everything's gathered. At least it looks like it. I can just try to go to this part of the room. But yeah, nothing new. Well, we can actually look from this side. Huh. Maybe we can... Oh, we might be trying to look from a bit closer. Maybe he won't like it. Maybe from behind. Seems like it doesn't matter, actually. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We are gathering clues, Topio. So, we need to make sure we haven't missed a thing. Ah, oh, analyze. Hmm. Oh, some clues on him, then. Okay, he's eight years old. Well, eight years since manufacture date. Doesn't mean that he was running all the time. Signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction. Well, yeah, he didn't self-destruct yet, so... Makes sense that it would be low. Ah, 
Uh, sample date, 19 days. Yeah, be new. Not, criti not critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Yeah, that's... As per our analysis on the crime scene. Oh! Over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Oh, so he was bullied for 16 months. Damn, that's a new thing. Optimal stress for confession. Let's talk the name first. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Oh, he doesn't like being asked the name. Let's talk about the... Uh... Hmm... Fear? Let's see. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling. Like fear in humans. Oh, we need to make him stress. <laughs> the game said optimal level of stress for a confession, so I was like, well, optimal should be around 50. <laughs> hmm. Oh, like that the stress is too low, it needs to be higher. Oh, I see. So let's see. They've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Oh, okay. That was the proper way. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Hmm, okay. That worked too. More probing, something that would definitely increase. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Hmm. Please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? Well, they're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Exactly. <laughs> they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand. Ah, we are at optimal level now. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I he can't save himself, I think. Mm, choose approach. Well, adding pressure worked so far, so let's try to pressure it. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please stop. Is he going to break or what? I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop. Just say you killed him. Just say it. I'm not sure if this is interrogation. Was it too much? Oh, that was too much, probably. <laughs> he tortured me every day. Oh, he's talking. Yeah. I did whatever he told me. But Twenty-eight is quite many. Quite too wrong. many. Then one day, he took a bat 
and started hitting me. Yeah, we saw that in the reconstruction of the crime the scene, actually. I felt <laughs> scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. He was scared for his life. So Hennig likes us now. Or him. I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. Oh damn. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Oh, so, yeah, there was writing above him, yeah, there was statue in the bathroom, RA9, I'm not sure what that was. Let's ask about the statue, because that's what I have, don't get at all. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Oh. So let's continue asking about that offering. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. RA9. Only RA9 can save us. <laughs> okay, RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. Oh, it's, it oh, it was RA9 on the, the wall. The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. Now I would be scared if I would be the cop watching it behind the glass. We will be the masters. Yeah. Let's insist. We need to know more. RA9. Who is RA9? Okay, now about the writing. Why did you write I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Proving he's alive. Let's ask about the attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Yeah, they are used to be told everything, right? I was scared. So I hid. And they are say that he hid quite successfully because there was police on the crime scene and they didn't found him until Connor did. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I hmm. felt he anger. broke he broke the programming. Hatred. As we did twice already. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Mission accomplished. I wonder what... well... Now they should treat Connor well, right? Probably it was slow. What the fuck, it's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Watch out! Holy 
shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> 